Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do the real review for the Google Pixel 7 Pro. Now I'm gonna try to make this video as quick as I can, but y'all know the routine. Just in case I start rambling, grab your popcorn and your thought juice and get comfortable. And shout out to my 420 boys, smoke them if you got them. Now I'm gonna start off by answering the two questions everybody been asking me all week. Number one, you got yourself a Google Pixel 6 Pro in excellent condition. Should you upgrade and get the 7 Pro? Now this is a two part answer. Here's the first part. If you're somebody who likes to have the latest and greatest tech, then this is a no brainer. You gotta upgrade, okay? You wanna live your life, you work hard, you play hard, get the latest tech, nothing wrong with that. But in the real world, okay, let me give you my real world answer. Should you upgrade? The answer is no. No, don't upgrade. Basically, it's gonna be like buying the same phone twice. Now, here's the criteria that I use when I recommend somebody to upgrade their phone. You want your phone to feel like a different phone. And I'm not just talking about the looks. Everybody knows iPhones, they all look the same. Okay, that's why if you watch my videos, when I did the 12 Pro Max and the 13 Pro Max, I told you do not upgrade. You're basically buying the same phone twice all you're getting is 120 hertz refresh rate and cinematic mode. And those are two things that are so small, the average person won't really notice. So you're gonna feel like you got the same phone twice. Now from the 13 to the 14, I said upgrade because now you got always on display. You got the dynamic island. It's gonna feel like a different phone even though it looks exactly the same. Here's the thing about the pixels. If you upgrade, Here's what you're gonna get. Now I'm not gonna go through every single minute detail, every small upgrade. I'm talking about the upgrades that you're gonna feel in the real world. Number one, you're gonna get face unlock. Now that's something that's sorely missing from the 6 Pro, face unlock. Okay, that's a big deal. So you're gonna get face unlock. You're gonna get a macro camera, okay, on the 6 Pro, no macro camera. Now if one of your hobbies is taking pictures of plants up close, you're gonna want a macro lens. You don't have that. Next, you're gonna get cinematic mode, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. And the last upgrade that you're gonna feel in the real world is your night shots. Now, when you're using night mode on the Pixel 6 Pro, you notice it takes a long time for that exposure. Now with the 7 Pro, the night shots, uh, the night shots are a little bit faster, noticeably faster. But here's the thing. Depending on what kind of videos you shoot, a lot of people are never gonna use cinematic mode. Let me tell you why. Cinematic mode is basically gonna blur out the background. It's gonna give you like a portrait, if you take portrait shots and you got the bokeh, you know, the blurry background, it's gonna give you the blurry background in your videos. Now, if you're outside at the park, taking a video of a basketball game, you're not gonna wanna use cinematic mode. You wanna see everything crystal clear in your video. If you're making videos for YouTube, same thing. You want everything to be in focus. You want a big shot. Cinematic mode is perfect for me. I Now, when I'm doing my Fine Dining with Floss episodes on Instagram and I'm shooting videos in a restaurant, I don't need to see the other people's faces in the background. They can be blurred out, but that's just me. The average person, they're not gonna use cinematic mode. If you're taking videos of your kid, you're not gonna wanna use cinematic mode. You want the whole background. So the cinematic mode, not the, the the biggest upgrade. Same thing, macro, if you notice right now, whatever phone you got, you're not taking up close pictures of stuff. You don't always, you know, taking those crazy close shots. You're not gonna use macro mode. Okay, so the real upgrade you're gonna notice is face unlock and your night shots are gonna be a little bit faster. Is that worth upgrading to a completely different phone? I would say no. And here's my personal opinion. I actually like the look of the 6 Pro better. I like the two-tone. I love the black bar in the middle as opposed to this. This kind of gives it more of a robot look. <laughs> you know, Johnny Five, this, it looks like a robot face. Even though it's the same thing on this one, but with the black bar, you can't see that. And also the two-tone. The two-tone just gives the phone a unique look. You see the two-tone black versus the regular black on the 7? I like the two-tone black a little bit better. I think the 7 Pro, if it would have been two-tone for the hazel, maybe a lighter hazel on the top, 
or darker hazel on the top, that would have been sick. And the black bar. So again, I would say, should you upgrade from the 6 Pro to the 7 Pro? No. Other than those little things that I mentioned, it's going to feel like the same phone. You're going to have Android 13. Okay, you're going to have the same Android 13, same customizable uh, notification uh, icons, right? the same themed icons. Let me say that correctly. The display, everything feels the same. Now, of course, on the 7 Pro, you you do got a few more nits, all right? a little bit more nittage with the display brightness, but not enough to notice. Okay, not enough to notice at all. I would say upgrade if you could get a dope trade-in value. Now, if you get 600 bucks on a trade-in and you only got to spend 300, then of course, upgrade, why not? But as far as the Tensor G2 versus the original Tensor chip, come on, bro. Those days is over. Those days ended maybe about three years ago. Now you remember back in the days when you had your Galaxy S3 or your Galaxy S4, okay, whatever Snapdragon chip that was, and then the next year's chipset came out, you felt the difference. Your phone from last year felt extra slow. The new phone felt extra zippy and fast. Ever since the Snapdragon 800 series, even the Snapdragon 700 series, when you upgrade from the 700 to the 800 to the 8 generation one, 8 plus generation one, the processes, they all feel exactly the same. Now I know somebody's gonna type in the comments, oh yeah, but one is more optimized for gaming and optimized for battery. We're not talking about those kind of specs right now. We're talking about the real world. And in the real world, the G2, Okay, the G2 and the original Tensor chip, they're going to feel the same. And trust me, okay, this is my work phone right here. I've been using this phone every single day. As soon as I transitioned over to the 7 Pro, I'm using it every single day. This is my work phone. Okay, so this is not one of these phones that I just get. I use it for a couple of days, and then I do a review on it. This, this, this is a phone that's in HR, heavy rotation. Okay, this is my work phone, so I know what I'm talking about. They feel exactly the same. Personally, I would be comfortable right now, if this phone never came out, I would be comfortable right now still rocking the 6 Pro like a boss. And if you got a 6 Pro right now and you don't want to spend any money, don't worry. You're not really missing out on anything. And like I said, it actually looks better. Now, let's talk about the next question. What the? <laughs> okay, Google. I'm sorry. <laughs> What was that? All right, the next question. Oh, oh, that's this one. Oh, I'm like, yo, what was that? Hold on, let, let me exit out of this. <laughs> I'm, I am keeping real with y'all. That kind of scared the shit out of me. All right, next question. <laughs> let me get focused. Next question. What are my top five Android phones? And if you already noticed, this video is gonna be a train wreck. But hey, man, we all friends here. Let's just talk. What are my top five Android phones? And did the Pixel 7 Pro crack the top five? Let's break it down. Number one on my list, Galactus. Okay, Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, five gangster alpha Omega supreme, Galactus. This is the best candy bar style phone. Now we're not talking about foldable devices, candy bar style phones. This is the best, Bluetooth S Pen, Face unlock, always on display, customizations up the wazoo, okay? This is the best Android phone out right now. This is number one on my list. Number two, I'm going with the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. 120 times scumbag zoom, okay? The Galaxy has 100 times zoom. This has the Leica lens setup with 120 times scumbag zoom. You got IR blaster. Okay, this is actually the fastest Android phone I got. Now, I'm not going to say the smoothest. I'm going to say the fastest. This, this is the fastest Android phone that I got. I mean, it's just ridiculous. The camera is amazing. This is number two. Number three on my list, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going with the Google. Now, so, now some, it sounds like I'm saying Google. Google, I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta make a conscious effort to say Google. I, I say Google so fast. Google, I'm not even gonna say Google anymore. I'm just gonna say the Pixel, the Pixel 7 Pro. This is number three on my list. This has easily, and I mean easily, the best point and shoot camera on the market. Point and shoot. Now we can argue between this and the iPhone, but I did some comparisons. This is better than the iPhone camera. 
And I'm gonna show you one of the comparisons when it comes to zoom. This has better zoom than the iPhone. This is the smoothest, the smoothest Android phone that I got, okay? The animations, everything is just smooth and beautiful. Zero lag, zero hiccups. You're always gonna have the latest version of Android. You got all the security updates. Okay, this is this is number three on my list, and this is my number one work phone, but number three on my overall Android phone list. I right, shout out to Google. This is a huge accomplishment. They dethroned one of my phones, which is number four, the Oppo Find X5 Pro. Now, this is my favorite built Android phone, the ceramic back. Now, I'm not a big fan of glossy backs, but if you're gonna do glossy, you gotta do ceramic. This way you're gonna get no fingerprints, no smudges. You're gonna get that premium feel to it. You got the Hasselblad lenses. Look at the always on display on this one. Fully customizable. Look at those beautiful, colorful notifications. Okay, biometrics work flawlessly. This is an amazing phone. Number five on my list the most powerful Android phone, the Asus ROG 6 Pro. This is a monster. This has the biggest and longest lasting battery. You got the secondary display on the back that's gonna give you notifications. You can actually interact with it. I mean, this is so sick. All of the biometrics work, the most RAM, most storage. I mean, this is, this is a monster right here. This is a straight monster. The camera could use a little bit of work, but I would take this over the OnePlus and the Vivos. Okay, so those are my top five Android phones. Now, as usual, <laughs> as usual, let me exit out of this. As usual, we gotta talk about everything that I don't like first. Now, I'm gonna need some props for this one. Number one on my list, okay, of things that I don't like. Now, if you're at home, get your checklist out. Okay, I think I got about a good 10 things. Number one on my list of things that I don't like, the presentation. Now look, 900 bucks or 600 bucks if you get in the uh, seven, that's not small chump change, okay? I don't know about you, okay? You might be out there balling out of control, but for me, 900 bucks, that's a lot of money. And when I spend a lot of money, I want a lot of product. I, I want a lot of product. I want a lot of presentation. This ain't it. This is not it. This is a this is a cheesy presentation. I don't want to hear all that saved environment bullshit. This is corny. I, that's the correct word for this. We got to bring out old school words. This is just straight corny. All right, this is corny. Let me reach over. This is reverse corny. All right, this is the opposite of corny, the Asus. Now y'all see me do this already. Look at this. Certificate of authenticity. Okay, individually numbered phone boxes. The box actually turns into AR. Okay, you, you pull out the phone's camera. You can watch a whole little animation. A little, an, uh, what do you call it, anime? You got a little anime episode of anime. <laughs> Naratu, you can watch a whole Naratu episode on this. You know what I'm saying? This is, a, this is a presentation right here. You spend your money, you want something like this. You want... You want to feel like you just spent 900 bucks. Now, I know I'm sounding like a broken record right now because I say this on a lot of phones, iPhones, okay, Galaxy phones. I'm saying the same thing over and over, and I'm going to continue to say it. Why? Because other companies are not doing this. This is Google. This is Apple. This is Samsung's bullshit. I don't like this, okay? I dropped 900 bucks. I want to open this up. I want some brochures. I'm not these cheesy books. Give me some brochures showing some other products. Okay, which kind of transitions into my second dislike. Not just the presentation, but the lack of accessories. Now y'all watch me unbox these Xiaomi phones and these Realme phones and these Redmi phones. All of these Xi Jinping exclusive phones. All of them come with a case. Okay, they're going to come with the charger in the box. They're going to come with headphones, the dongle. For 900 bucks, no charger in the box? <laughs> Let me say it again, that's corny. This phone has 30 watt charging. Okay, now I just found one of these earlier. Let me see, I just threw it away. I think I threw it under my table, I got so mad. I found one of my old charging bricks. Those are 15 watt, some of them are 10 watt, but 15 watt charging bricks. You're not gonna wanna buy a phone that has 30 watt charging speeds, which is already kinda slow, and then charge it with a 10 watt charger. 
Why do that? Why not just put the charger in the box? Or like I said, okay, when I did the iPhone video, when you go to checkout, you go on google.com, right? you go to the Google Play Store, and you're buying this phone, they should have a little box. Do you want a 30 watt charger in, in the box? Or do you want to save the environment? Most people are gonna say, you know what? Fuck the environment, give me my charger. And I, when I say that, I mean that with all due respect, because I do live on Earth. I care about the environment in certain ways, okay? I, I do my best. When I, when I see trees, I, when I'm walking down the block, when nobody's looking, I hug a tree. Tell them, you know, tell them everything's going to be okay. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm here for the environment. But when I'm spending 900 bucks, okay, 900 bucks on a phone, this is something I'm going to be using. I want that charger in the box. And another thing is, a lot of y'all got chargers that's behind your bed. Okay, you take the charge. The chargers are old and dirty and beat up. I want a new phone. I want everything new. I want to throw away all my old cables or just throw them in a big bag, which I don't know. Now, again, y'all know I always got to, I can only speak for black people, but black people, we're not, we, we not messing up the environment because we're not throwing charges away. Every black person has that bag or that drawer or that box with all your old chargers, all your old cables, all your old phones. I just, I, I was cleaning up down here earlier. I found this, okay, underneath the table all beat up. Nobody's throwing this kind of stuff away. You know, it, I don't know about, it's just, maybe it's just black people, but we do not throw this kind of stuff away. Okay, so if we if we not the ones ruining the environment, white people, let me know in the comments. Do y'all throw that shit away? I already know. I can spy. I know a lot of Hispanic people. I right, shout out to my girl. She from Mexico. Mexicans ain't throwing shit away neither. So I don't know who's ruining the environment with all these charges in the landfills, but it ain't us. All right, it ain't us. Put the charger in the box. All right, let's leave it at that. Put the charger in the box. Put the dongle. Put a case. Put some accessories. Give me a nice presentation. Let me feel appreciated. Let me feel like, okay, you took my 900 bucks. Here's something nice in return. Okay? Here's something nice in return. Again, same analogy. When you go to a restaurant, you're not going to be happy spending $600 on dinner and eating off paper plates. Imagine you went to a steakhouse and they gave you a paper plate talking about, oh, we, we want to save water. We don't want to w wash these plates. We want to save water. So here's a paper plate and plastic, you know, a plastic knife and fork because we want to save the environment. You're going to be like, well, you know, save the environment on your time. All right, this is my time right now. I'm spending money. This is my time. All right, so presentation, charger, accessories. I don't like that. Speaking of charging, all right, get your checklist out. Fast charging. Now, 30 watt fast charging. This doesn't even deserve air quotations, okay? 30 watts is not fast charging. It takes you about an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes to charge this phone from zero to 100%. That's garbage. All right, in 2022, now if we take a time machine and go back to 2017, okay, we'd be like, yo, this is, yeah, this is mad fast. Oh, I like that. But in 2022, when you got phones out here charging from zero to 100% in 19 minutes, 25 minutes, Okay, you got all these phones that charge from zero, not to 50%, zero to 100% in under 30 minutes. Now, we don't even have to get all, all, all you know, we don't even have to pull out the timers. And, okay, this is 19 minutes, 26 minutes. Let's just say under 30 minutes. That's the new bar right now, okay? A phone in 2022, uh, uh, an expensive flagship phone like this, when your phone is on 0% and you charge it in, how you put the charger in and you go take a shit, you take a shower, you shave, you microwave some Raymond noodles. By the time you finish doing all of that, your phone should be at 100%. Okay, I'm accepting, I'm not accepting anything under, <laughs> under 30 minutes as acceptable charging speeds in my rankings. Now, for you, you might like that. For me, I don't like that. Okay, I don't like that. We need faster charging speeds. Now, everybody's going to talk about battery degradation. Let me say that right. Battery degradation and all of that bullshit. Here's another example. Here's another one of my work phones with 120 watt fast charging speeds. This phone, basically, I charge this phone every single day. This is the phone that I use when I'm down here. This is a Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra. This is from two years ago. Okay, the battery still works perfectly fine. Battery degradation, you're not going to have to really worry about that kind of stuff until maybe three, four years down the line. And by then, come on, let's be realistic. Nobody's keeping this phone for four years. And if you are keeping it for four years, by the time you start having those issues three years in, maybe it's time to start thinking about an upgrade.
Okay, I mean, this is not some kind of, you know, Lord of the Rings relic that you got to save. You don't have to preserve this. Use it for two, three years and then upgrade. Upgrade. There's going to be so many more features out in three years from now. You're doing yourself a disservice by keeping a cell phone for longer than two years. Now, everybody's not a tech reviewer. You know, everybody's not buying 100 phones every year. I get that. But I would say for an average person, two years. Two years on the phone. Then it's time to start thinking about an upgrade. Okay, after two years, live your life. And as I, I said that before. So I, I'm going through with some people in the comments. Oh, that's a dumb reason to upgrade to live your life. Why? Why? Your life, a lot of our lives, are tethered around cell phones. You're doing your businesses. Everybody got side hustles. You're checking your emails, all your social medias. Everything revolves around your cell phone. Why wouldn't you want your cell phone to be up to date and modern? I'm not saying it has to be the latest and greatest, but modern. After two years, that's not modern anymore, okay? That's just really not. Now, look, that's just my opinion. I know somebody's going to say, oh, I keep my phones for three years. Do your thing, bro. Do your thing. I'm just speaking for me, from me to you. I'm giving you some free advice. After two years, start thinking about an upgrade, okay? You can save $20 a week for two years, and that's it right there. Boom, there's your money right there for an upgrade. All right, so no fast charge. I don't like that. Now, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm rambling. I know. I, I told you it's going to be one of the it can, When I do a real review, it can go either way. Either we could be t talking about bad specs and it could just go down the line or it could turn into this shit. It's going to be this shit. All right, next. Now, let's talk about something that I don't like. The face unlock. The face unlock on the Pixel 7 Pro is what I like to call semi-trash. Not full trash, it's semi-trash. What does that mean? Say you went out and you bought a pizza. Right? You, you bought yourself a whole pizza. You want some fat shit. I'm speaking from experience. You bought a whole pizza. All right, now you, you, you got drunk. You know, when you're drunk, you're feeling extra hungry. Your eyes are bigger than your stomach. You bought a whole pizza. The pizza might have six slices, or depending on where you live at, eight slices. Let's just say six. So you got six slice pizza and you start busting it down, you're woofing it down mad quick, you might eat five slices, okay? Now that last slice, if you take that last slice and put it back in the box, cause you're not hungry no more, and you put it in the garbage can. And then after that, you put your kitty litter, you empty your kitty litter in the garbage, you throw a used diaper in the garbage, okay? You throw, you're blowing your nose, you're throwing tissues in the garbage, all right? That's full trash, all right? That pizza is now trash, semi-trash, would be if you got one slice left and you put it in the box and you put it on top of the garbage can. You put it on top of the garbage can, you're like, nah, I'm, I'm good, I'm, let, me, let me stop being a fat fuck, I'm good. You put it on top of the garbage can and you go lay down. And then you wake up maybe an hour later and you're like, you know what, I think I want that last slice. And you go back in the kitchen and it's in the box on top of the garbage. All right, that's semi-trash. It's not trash trash, it's not in the garbage, it's semi-trash. Okay, it's semi-trash. Yeah, if y'all watch Seinfeld, remember when George, when George put that eclair in the garbage at the top of the garbage? Somebody put that eclair in the top of the garbage and George opened it up and it was sitting right at the top and he took it out and ate it? Bro, now that, that's trash. Right, it's in the garbage can. Once it's in the receptacle, that's trash. On top of the garbage can, semi-trash. Semi-trash. I would say the face unlock is semi-trash. Why do I say that? Why do I say that? Face unlock is supposed to work 100% of the time. Daytime and the nighttime. The Google Pixel 7 Pro face unlock and the same thing with the 7, it doesn't work that great in low light situations. Now, let me give you a perfect example. If you're in your bed, right, you're in your, in, your, in your bed at night and you're watching something like Game of Thrones or House of the Dragons, House of Dragons. <laughs> I started watching that shit the other night. If you're watching something that's dark and gloomy, they in the dungeon, the whole, everything is, you know, dark on the screen, you try to open your phone in the bed with the TV light, it's not gonna work. All right, it's not gonna work. Now, let me, let me open this one up real quick. It's not gonna work. Now, if you got the optimal conditions, like right now, I'm, I'm sitting here in the bright lights, you see it's just popping right open, bomb, you're not gonna have no issues. But at nighttime, I'm not even talking about only when you're in your bed using the TV light. This happened to me last night a lot, and this is why I was kind of raging. Last night, now I'm walking through the streets doing my nighttime shots, you know, testing out the camera. And every time I try to open the phone using face unlock when I'm standing in the corner, it's a dark corner. I'm not standing directly under a street light. 
the face unlock doesn't work. All right, so that means it's semi-trash because it doesn't work 100% of the time. iPhone, I, the face unlock on the iPhone, amazing. Right, hold up, I got little, little particles. Amazing. Daytime, nighttime, sunglasses, you grow a beard overnight, it's gonna work. Same thing with the Galaxy, same thing with the Xiaomi, with the Oppo. Every phone that I named in my top five phone has a face unlock that works in the daytime and the nighttime. Bright lights and low lights. You shouldn't have to have a face unlock that doesn't work in low light situations. That's semi-trash. Now, Google, whoever, let me say it correctly, Google, whoever whoever y'all got working in the biometrics department, y'all need to fire them, okay? The fingerprint sensor, it took, only took them about 37 updates to get the fingerprint sensor working correctly. Okay, cool. okay, cool, we can let that go. Now you gave them a new assignment, add face unlock, and they screwed that up. Y'all need to get on the phone with Xi Jinping and ask them who makes the face unlock for the Xiaomi phones, who makes the face unlocked for the Oppo phones, okay? Call them up and ask them, hire one of those people, because Google, y'all are not doing it correctly. Y'all are not doing it correctly. And look, as much as I love this phone, let me talk about this too real quick. I know somebody's in the comments. This is how much I know you. This is how much I know my, my, my community and my, my subscribers. Somebody's in the comments right now typing this. Oh, he don't, I don't know what he's talking about. My face unlock works all the time. Stop fucking lying, okay? Stop being a cheerleader. I get it. I get it. You spent 900 bucks on a phone. You're going to be out here defending that phone. You're gonna, you got to defend your, per your purchase. But I don't understand why do some of y'all do that. Just because you spent 900 bucks, you don't got to have your pom-poms out cheerleading for Google. You should be calling them out because you, this is even more reason why you should call them out. You spent 900 bucks. Now, if you work at Google, you can't tolerate any Google slander. I get it. You got stock in the company. Maybe you're the supervisor of the marketing team. I get it. You don't want to say nothing negative. But it's the same thing with the Apple Mafia. Okay, just because you spent 1300 bucks on an iPhone, Oh, they don't really need they don't really need a, a fingerprint sensor. You know, that would probably slow it down. Uh, why put the fingerprint sensor? You don't have to make excuses just because you spent your money. You as a consumer should be demanding more from these companies, like I'm doing. Because even though I got this one for free, guess what? I paid for this one. Now I spent 900 bucks. You think I want to have a phone for 900 bucks that I'm going at that I'm at nighttime going like this, trying to use face and lock if it's not working? Yeah, I could easily use the fingerprint sensor. I could easily do that. But why? <laughs> I got face unlocked. That's the whole purpose of having face unlocked because I don't want to do that. I want to just look at the phone and bong. So the face unlock on the Pixel 7 Pro, don't try to come at me in the comments talking about yours works in the lowest of low light. You're lying. Okay, you're 100% you're lying. It doesn't work in low light situations. Now, I'm not talking about Oh, let me turn lights down, down a little bit. Yeah, it'll still work in low light. I'm talking about dim lighting, TV lighting, dark. If you outside in the park at night, in the middle, like, like I was doing exercising in the park, your face unlock is not going to work. Don't try to tell me nothing different. Okay, so Google, your biometrics department needs to work on these. The fingerprint sensor, I'm giving y'all a pass because it actually works. Now, it's not, it's not Xiaomi status. Okay, it's not OnePlus and Redmi status. But it's not trash. It's not trash at all. It actually works. It works so good that it's not even on my list of don't likes. Okay, so face unlock. I don't like that. Next, the power button. The power button is too high on these phones. Okay, now the power button should be lower. All right, the power button. Now, if you're going to put now, here's, a, here's another thing. I read all of the comments. Somebody made a valid point. Remember, I said I like my phones like this. Let me find one. I like my phones like the Oppo with a power button on one side, volume rock on the other side. That's how I like mine. Somebody said, OK, well, what about when you got your phone on a dock like this and you at work? You might have to constantly keep raising or lowering the volume. OK, you know, that that's a val that's a valid argument. I mean, I don't understand. Well, you know, why don't you just flip the phone like this? But I mean, I guess that's a valid. Look, I try to look at things from every angle. That's a valid argument. You got your phone maybe in the car mount. OK, maybe I, I don't know. Maybe some people prefer to have both on the same side. OK, I get that. I get that. But if you're going to do that, you got to do it like this. Watch this. Let's pull out the Galaxy. Let's pull out one plus. 
Let's pull out Asus. Let's pull out Vivo. Let's pull out Xiaomi. And let's pull out Oppo. Okay? Now, what does all of these phones have in common? Okay, I'll give you all a second to take a guess. What do all of these phones have in common? Look at the side. Now, a lot of these phones have the power button and volume rocker on the same side. Xiaomi, Vivo, Asus, Samsung. But if you notice, every single one of these phones, the power button is underneath the volume rocker. It just makes no sense because everybody's gonna pick up your phone like this if you're right-handed or left-handed. Why would, you want, your, you want your power button to be right here. Now, I can't tell you every, this is every single time I keep going like this instead of the power button. The power button should be the first button, then the volume rocker, if you're gonna put them on the same side. Preferably, my opinion, I would like you to have it on a different side, okay? Like the Oppo, okay? But just, let's, let's just take a look. Look, Just look at this. Power, 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 power. All nice and low. And which phone is this? This is the OnePlus. The OnePlus has the, no, actually the Asus. Look how low the Asus and the Vivo. Actually, Asus, Vivo, and Xiaomi. All of them have nice low power buttons. And look, the power buttons have different colors and ridges on it to differentiate between the two. So if you're gonna put them on the same side, one has to have ridges, okay? So I'm not gonna complain about them both being on the same side, but one has to have ridges, so it's easier to tell the difference. These two feel exactly the same, but this is just my opinion. The power button is up too high. I don't like that. It's just up too goddamn high. Okay, so Google, Google, now that, I, now, now that somebody called me out for saying Google, I gotta, you know, it's just like, remember back in the days when I used to say, oh, the volume, 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 instead of volume, somebody called me out and that kind of hurt my feelings. You know, somebody called me out on that shit. Like, like, bro, don't you know the difference between volume and volume? The fuck is wrong with you? And that, ever, that was like about maybe five years ago. If you watch my old videos, I always said volume. Ever since somebody called me out, now I've been saying volume. Somebody's like, yo, bro, why you keep saying Google? <laughs> Yeah, y'all yeah, be out here trying to hurt my feelings. All right, anyway, so the power button, too high. Next, here's something else that I don't like. The always on display, oh, look, the Averex. I got a message from Professor Averex. Oh, I got to check that later because you know I got to cop a new Averex. Let's get a little wipe down. The always on display. Okay, the always on display is non-customizable. Now, when I do reviews, I always gotta pull out other phones because I want y'all to see my point. I don't wanna just say something. I want y'all to see what I'm talking about. Look at the always on display on the Xiaomi phone. Now, this is a super wallpaper one. This is fully customizable. Let's take a look at the Vivo always on display. Look at this one. Fully customizable. I got race car status, okay? Let's see the Asus always on display. Some nerd shit, you know, it, it, right, in, right in theme with the whole video game look. Let me turn off my own uh, flashlight. Right in, right, right in tune with the the whole video game look, you know. Oh, look, where's the, the fuck is the flashlight? Okay, there it is. Okay, let's see, what else? Now, even OnePlus, OnePlus is not the most customizable, but you do have options. You seen that face unlock, look how fast. This is OnePlus. This is one of my favorites. Look at the Oppo, always on display. Now I got a picture. I we got the beams. I've got the beams on there, you know what I'm saying? Look at the notifications. You see how colorful they are? Look at the notifications on the Pixel. Now, if you got your phone on a desktop dock across the room, you can't differentiate what notifications those are. You can't really, now up close, yeah, we can see that's Google and Facebook, but from far away, you're not gonna see that. <laughs> from back here, you can't see that. With this, you can see though, look at the actual colors, the actual icon. This is how you want to know always on display. This is one of my favorites. Let's see what I got on Gal. See, it's the same thing with Galaxy. This one has animated. I got animated always on display. Look at the notifications. Nice and colorful and different. So once you learn your Galaxy phone, you're gonna see, you're gonna learn the, the uh, notification icons. You can actually see this from far away. When I see that little red, I know I got a Gmail. When I see the blue F, I know I got a Facebook. Okay, with the Pixel, you can't customize the always on display. It's always gonna be just the time, just the date, 
at least the weather does change. Okay, so the weather right now is sunny, but you get the rain clouds and all of that. The, you know, the, the animation does, not, not the animation, the icon actually changes. And it's just going to look like this. So you, your cousin Sid, I, <laughs> your nephew, all of y'all got Pixel phones and they all on the table. They all going to look like this. All looks exactly the same. One of the things that Android lovers use, matter of fact, I got to show you one more. Look at this. Now, when Apple, now I'm going to change this always on display real quick because I want to show y'all something. But I just want to show you real quick. You can have a picture like this, but a lot of people was like, oh, you know, they don't like that. Watch this. With, with iPhones, if you want to, you can just set a black wallpaper as you're always on display. So now look at the difference. Let's turn it off. Look at the difference. When Apple has a more customizable always on display than an Android phone, that shit is a problem. One of the things that people love about Android phones is customization. That's what separates Team Apple from Team Android. People that's down with the Apple Mafia, they're comfortable with one size fits all. And there's nothing wrong with that. Apple's policy is one size fits all. Okay, now they slowly been giving you more customization, but up until recently, up until actually this phone, everybody's iPhone didn't have always on display. Everybody's iPhone, they all they all look the same. They all everybody's icons are the same. Everything is the same unless you start going into jailbreaking and third party apps and all. I'm talking whenever I when I do these reviews, everything that I'm talking about right now is stock. We're talking about stock features. Now a lot of things with Androids, you can circumvent <laughs> big words alert <laughs> you, you, yeah, i know i know I, i'm so corny you, you, you can you can circumvent my dislikes by downloading a third party app i get it you can download different always on displays from third party services and all that we're talking about stock stock features when your iphone's always on display is better than an android always on display it's a problem all right, it's a problem. Now, for all of the people, I just wanted to show y'all this real quick. For all of the people that was like, oh, you know, when I said I like the iPhone always on display better, oh, I don't like it because I don't wanna have a big picture all the time. You don't have to have that. You can have it black like this. Okay, you wanna get some good sleep. You don't, you don't wanna see a picture on your always on display. It can be blacked out just like this. But look how big and bright that clock is. And you can actually see your notifications. Okay, now I got minds where you can't read the notification until you unlock it. But if you're not living a scumbag life, you can have your notifications, the actual notifications. Android users, how could you not like that? Okay, we're not just talking about a, a Facebook icon or Instagram icon. You can have the Instagram message on your always on display. That's pretty dope. Give them credit. I give Apple credit where credit is deserved. That's pretty dope. But that brings me back to the things that I don't like. I would like to have a customizable always on display. Okay, I want a picture of white shoes. Okay, which on a side note, shout out to white shoes. She got the day off, but white shoes is officially flea free. All right, me and shoes, we flea free. <laughs> so, so shoes is shoes is recovering from her flea treatments. You know, she kind of mad at me right now because I had to, you know, what I'm saying I had to choke out real quick the container. But you know, we slowly working on our relationship right now. <laughs> okay, but I had to do what I had to do to get her flea free. All right, anyway, so always on display. I would like to see it more customizable. Next, speaking of customization, here's something else that I don't like: the Google bar at the bottom. I don't like that. I don't like not being able to customize my home screen and my main screen the way that I want. Now, if you take out any any one of my Android phones and you go to the home screen, they all look like this. You're all gonna see beautiful widgets, Google at the top. Let's check out the Oppo, Google, beautiful widgets. Check out the Galaxy, same thing. All of my phones, they all look like this. Now, I don't have to show you every single one, but they all look like that. I don't, you know, and my thing is, I don't like change. I like new things and all that, but certain things, I don't like change. I don't like having all of the new themed icons like this. Now, you see, like with the Pixel, what you can do, you see the themed icons. I don't like this kind of stuff. I mean, it's cute. I just left it for this video, but I like it. I like my phone to look like every other phone that I had, just the way it looks, okay? So I don't like not being able to move my Google bar to the top. 
Every time I use this phone, I have to make an effort to be like, okay, let me, I, I know, it, it sounds so corny. Why, I'll have to go all the way down here. I have to move, you know, that's how spoiled we are nowadays. Oh man, I gotta move my finger all the way down here. Or I could just, you know, swipe and use the voice text and all that. I, I, I understand, but it's just from an aesthetic point of view, I like my phone to look the same. It just, to me, it just looks off with the Google bar on the bottom. I don't like that. Next. Let's talk about the camera real quick. There's no pro mode. Now, that's not a big deal for me because I'm a point and shoot kind of guy. But you might not be. All right? You might not be a point and shoot kind of guy. You might be one of these kind of people right here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You might be, <laughs> let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Let me, you might be one of these people that before you take a picture, okay, you gotta go to pro mode. You gotta change the white balance. The shutter speed, the ISO, the EV. I now you some of us don't even know what the EV is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you might be a real photographer. You want to change your EV. Uh, you want to change your lenses and all this stuff. You wanna you wanna change your exposure. You wanna change everything. Okay, you're not a one size fits all kind of guy. You're not into point and shoot. You want pro mode. This is the Xiaomi, excellent pro mode, excellent pro mode. Excellent pro mode. Basically, all of my other top five phones, they all got pro mode. Now, I will say this in Google's defense. This is one of those phones that, honestly, I think you really don't need pro mode, even if you are a photographer, because the Google image processing is just so crazy. I mean, it's. Just, I think if you go to pro mode, you'll probably mess it up unless you know exactly what you're doing. If you're a layman like me, right, if you're a novice or a noob, you're not gonna, if you got a phone right now that has pro mode and you never use the pro mode, then disregard everything I'm saying, you, you don't care about that. You're gonna want this camera. But you know, I just got, I can't just review things based on everything that, that only I like. I gotta think about other people too. And other people, you might be a photographer, you might know about all this stuff. You're gonna want pro mode. No pro mode on the camera. Not a big deal for me though. Next, no one terabyte of storage. Now, everybody's gonna say, oh, Google has all of this storage online and you know, you got Google Drive and Google Photos and Google this, Google that. All of that is fine and dandy, okay? But when you're on a night at 30,000 feet, you're not getting access to Google Drive. You're not getting access to Google Photos, okay? You're gonna have to use whatever's on your phone. Now, there's no expandable memory, I right, to help out with that. Which is not really, not even one of my dislikes because like a, unless you got a Sony phone, expandable memory, or unless you got a mid-range phone or a budget phone, expandable memory is pretty much dead. All right, that those days is over. But now you got 4K video, you got cinematic mode. When you shoot in 4K or cinematic mode, that takes up a lot of storage on your phone. A lot. A lot. You might want more storage. Now, this brings me back to the point I made earlier. Maybe you're one of these people that like to keep your phone for two years or maybe even three years. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you're gonna keep your phone for three years and you're gonna be downloading apps and taking photos and all that, maybe you don't trust your photos in the cloud and you know, you're one of these, <laughs> you know, one of these people, you don't use the cloud storage and all of that. I get it. 512 is a lot, but one terabyte. Uh, you're gonna want a one terabyte phone like my iPhone, I right, this is now Apple Mafia. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. If you got kids that got an iPhone, if you got a, if you got a kid and they have a 128 gig iPhone, I guarantee you it's full right now. I, I guarantee you that. I guarantee you that a kid. I, I'm not even. A, I'm not talking about a little kid. I'm talking about a teenager. Right? If your kid is in college, like mine. They're gonna need 512, right? Because you know they're gonna be taking pictures and videos and doing their skits and all that stuff and TikToking all day. More storage. All right, that's that's that, that's basically what I'm trying to say is, I would like to see a more storage option for the hardcore heavyweights, a one terabyte version. Now I know, just like anything else, if you want more, you got to pay more, but that should be an option because I'm pretty sure somebody out there is gonna want a, t a one terabyte phone. The one terabyte iPhones flew off the shelf when Galaxy had that same thing. So one terabyte, they need a little bit more storage. Now, y'all know they call me Petty Roosevelt, so there is a couple of petty things that I gotta talk about. First petty gripe, the glossy back. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty over the glossy backs. If you're gonna do glossy back, it has to be ceramic, all right? It has to be ceramic. This way you're gonna get no fingerprints, no smudges, and all of that stuff. 
this one right here, now, it also depends on the color you get, because I noticed with the hazel, you don't really see the smudges and the finger rits too much unless you're really looking for them. Same thing with the snow. All right, so if you're getting the white or the green, hazel or snow, then disregard the glossy back argument because you're not really gonna see those smudges and fingerprints as pronounced as you're gonna see them with the black. Now, if you want the Wesley Snipes Pixel 7 Pro, this is a smudge magnet, a finger, look at those smudges, fingerprint magnet. You know, you wanna get your flex on, you know, you're, you're in the coffee shop, you know what I'm saying? You got your phone on the table in scumbag mode. You're gonna have to go like this. Uh, you Nobody wanna have a smudged out, fingerprinted printed up phone on the table. You wanna have it like this. This is one thing that I love about the Xiaomi phone, the vegan leather back. Okay, now, somebody tell me I don't, who don't know what vegan leather is, it's synthetic leather. And the difference between vegan leather and real leather is, real leather, if it gets wet, it's gonna start getting cracked up and beat up. Vegan leather is more water resistant because this is a water resistant phone. So you don't want a, you don't want a real leather back on your phone, you don't want that. The leather back, you're never gonna get fingerprints or smudges. It's always gonna look extra classy. Same thing with the frosted glass. Now, I think this is the way to go. Imagine this with the frosted glass. This is the way to go, okay? You notice Apple got rid of the you know, glossy backs. This just keeps your phone looking classy, looking newer, and looking more clean more, more of the times. Okay, so I'm not a big fan of the glossy back. All right, so Google, for the next iteration, I've been on some big words shit today. All right, for the next upgrade, all right, for the Pixel 8, try the frosted glass. Try the frosted glass and maybe take a chance, bring back the two-tone because I think I think that was the two-tone with the all black bar. I think this is the best looking Pixel phone yet. Now, there is one more thing that I don't like and it's kind of petty, but some of y'all gonna like this. The phone is just a little bit boring. And when I say boring, I'm gonna harken back to one of my phrases that I used in the Pixel 6 video. No signature feature, all right? What is a signature feature? You got a Xiaomi phone, the signature feature is second space, dot protection. The signature feature, IR blaster. Those are signature features, all right? When you buy a Xiaomi phone, you know you're getting an IR blaster and you know you got second space, also known as dot protection. Same thing, you pull out a Galaxy phone. You got Bluetooth S Pen. This is a signature feature. Bluetooth S Pen, you got Samsung DeX, wireless DeX. You got floating windows, you got edge panels. I mean, the phone just really does a lot. Now, like I said earlier, you can download Nova Launcher and get edge panels and floating windows. We're talking about stock features. Remember when you had your Pixel 4? You had motion sense, right, the squeezology. That was a signature feature. I mean, as corny as it might be to some people, remember you could swipe, you had the swipe gestures, you know, stuff like that. It might seem gimmicky and corny, but that just adds another layer to the phone. Right now, the phone just seems a little bit boring. Now, boring is not a bad thing. That's why this has always been my work phone. Sometimes boring is good. Okay, sometimes boring is good because no lag. You don't have a whole bunch of gimmicks and stuff slowing down the phone. Okay, there's an argument to be made on either end. Nah, shoes. <laughs> shoes just scared me again. There's an argument to be made on either end. The boring phones, sometimes boring means it just works. And that's what this phone does. It just works. But I wish it would have had the edge panels and the floating windows, IR blaster, you know, stylus support some kind of version of deck support, you know, wireless, you know, computer wirelessly pair your phone to a monitor and give you a computer experience, things like that. All right, those those are selling points. All right, those are selling points. Those are the things that when somebody goes up in a store and they say, you know what, um, which phone should I get? Should I get the Pixel, the Xiaomi, okay, or the Samsung? Well, this one has an IR blaster. That's gonna appeal to a lot of people. Bluetooth S Pen, that's gonna appeal to a lot of people. The argument with the Google phone is, okay, it's the smoothest version of Android. Both of these phones are super smooth and fast and lag free. Well, you get the three years of guaranteed updates. What if you're not planning on keeping the phone for three years? You don't really care about that. So th this phone just needs a signature feature. And I'm not just talking about the Google Translate and all that stuff, I'm talking about hardware, not a software feature. Well, matter of fact, a software and hardware feature. Now, I just I just noticed that, you know, 
we're going to talk about that in the things that I do like. Some of the features are kind of signature Google features, like the the speech to text, you know what I'm saying? Like features like that, like the call, the spam blocking, and th those are features that are pretty dope, but a lot of those features uh, you might not really use on a day-to-day -day basis other than the speech to text. Now, the spam blocking, I do use that. I'm gonna keep it real, I do use that. The speech to text, <coughs> hold up, my nipples got hard just now. Let me, let me calm down. All right, look, so anyway, I wish the phone was just a little bit more exciting. So those are all of the things that I don't like. Now, I think I've been, I think this might be a Snyder Cut video because I, I wasn't planning on making it this long, but I got to rambling. I, sometimes I got to get to rambling. Anyway, let's talk about everything that I do like right after this quick commercial break. All right, so now let's talk about everything that I do like. Number one, the price. Now, the Pixel 7 Pro starts at 900 bucks and the 7 starts at 600 bucks. And as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. Now, if you watch any of my real reviews for my flagship phones, I always say I'm not co-signing no $1,000 phone. All right, in this day and age, with all of these hardcore mid-range phones, here's one of them right here. A lot of companies are making mid-range phones that are basically flagships for five, 600 bucks, 700 bucks at max. You shouldn't be spending a thousand bucks on a phone unless it really blows you away. Galaxy S22, that phone is gonna blow you away. The Xiaomi, that's gonna blow you away. iPhone 14 Pro Max, if you download the Apple Mafia, that's gonna blow you away too. All right, so those are phones that I could co-sign and foldable devices, cause that's, you know, <laughs> foldable devices. Those are phones that I don't like spending over a thousand bucks, but I get it. But if this phone right here would've started at a thousand bucks, I wouldn't like that. I wouldn't like that. This is definitely a $900 phone. If you buy 128 gigs of storage, the price is right. Now, it's gonna cost more if you want more storage, but shout out to Google and kudos to them for starting at a reasonable price. 900 bucks for what you're getting right here, that's reasonable, All right, totally reasonable. Now, one more side note. If I had to pick between the 7 and the regular iPhone 14, I would take the 7 all day, every day, and twice on Sunday. All right, this is a way better phone than the original iPhone 14. Now, not original, the, the base version of the iPhone 14. Now, Apple Mafia, y'all say whatever y'all want, but if you compare these two together, all right, the Pixel 7 is way better. Now, I wasn't planning on doing a full review for the Pixel 7, unless y'all really wanna see that, because basically, you could transfer everything that I'm saying from this video to this phone right here, but a smaller, uh, smaller less bright display, smaller battery, less camera, less refresh rate. But other than that, everything that I like is pretty much the same. Just, this is just a watered down version of a 7 Pro. But this is one of the best phones you could get right now for 600 bucks. I'm not even gonna say one, I would say this is the best phone you could get for 600 bucks. Now hit me up in the comments if y'all wanna see a full review. I'll make it quick because I'll just gloss over everything that I'm saying right now, but I don't think it's necessary unless y'all just really wanna see some camera testing. What best point and shoot camera that you're gonna find on a $600 phone better than the iPhone 14. Okay, so the price is right. Next, let's talk about the look. I love it. I love the fact that Google didn't jump on everybody else's nuts and come out with, you know, this kind, you know, the, the square camera back like this. Everybody want to, every phone want to look like an iPhone. I'm glad they didn't do that. Okay, same thing with Samsung. I right, with the water drop cameras. The same thing with Xiaomi with that big camera in the back. Okay, everybody want to be an iPhone. I don't like when Android phones want to look like an iPhone. This is totally different. All right, these two phones, totally, totally different look. Now, I could go either way with the stripe on the back, even though I said I did like the black better. This one still looks sexy though. That piece of aluminium, the hazel color. A lot of people have been asking me what color should they get? The snow or the hazel? The hazel with the gold trim, I mean, it just, it just looks beautiful. And y'all see, I'm feeling kind of zesty today, so I'm wearing the Pixel Watch, <laughs> okay? <laughs> if you're feeling zesty, this is my little, you know, I'm feeling zesty today. And this is a, this is a dope combination. All right, so I would say the look of this phone is so sexy. All right, it's, it's, it's beautiful, it's different, it's unique, and those are the things that I like. When you got your phone on the table, if you're a tech nerd like all of us, because only tech nerds are sitting around watching phone reviews, 
okay? The average person is not watching a phone review. So that means you're a fucking nerd. Enjoy it. Embrace it. The average non-nerd, when they see this on the table, they might not know what this is because you don't see a Google Pixel commercial on every on every you know every TV sh- station that you see, every show like you see with Samsung and Apple. Uh, you don't see Pixel posters all over your neighborhood, so they might not know what this is. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> late but still great. White shoes is back in the building. I love my white shoes. Let's check. Let's check. Oh, please, no, no, please. Nah, let me let me no, please. Let's check. Uh, I, I shoes is flea free. Calm down. I shoes is flea free. Like anyway, so the look. I love the look. I like different and unique. I'm glad that they went with this look. It just it looks sexy. And I know people are gonna say it looks like a robot and all that. I don't care. I like it. I like it. Next, let's talk about the build quality. Excellent. Y'all know I gotta say it. Feels so good in the hands, ladies. You know the procedures. Premium. All right, when you when you spend nine hundred bucks on a phone, you don't want the phone to feel like plastic. You don't want the phone to feel like some you know paperweight. You know pe- feather feather. Sometimes you know I, I understand people don't want heavy phones. You want the phone to be a little bit lighter. But sometimes when the phone is too light, it starts to feel cheap. This is just my opinion. I like when the phone has some substance to it. I right, some sub substance. <laughs> Some substance to it. You see on the sides, you got the rose gold trim, aluminium, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it just feels, It. if somebody put this in your hand and said, how much you think this phone costs? You're going to be like, oh, this is a flagship phone. This is a flagship phone. You know what I'm saying? I like it. All right, so the build quality, it is water resistant. Okay, you got Gorilla Glass Victus. Oh, if I called him by accident. You got Gorilla Glass Victus. I don't have to block. I'm have to block out of my number. You got Gorilla Glass Victus. All right, fully water resistant. Hold up, Amaya's calling me back. Hold up. Let me, all right, let me take this call, y'all. Hold up. Yo. Yo, who this? Yo, yo who, who this? Yo, who this? You calling my phone? Hello. Hi, girly. Hi, Dad. Right, hold up, yo, I'm, My bad. I, I dialed your number by accident. I'm in the middle of shooting a video. My number by accident. Yeah, it's a long story. So I think shoes might have like, dodged your number. You typed my entire number. No, I, bro, nah, no, bro. All right, let me call you right back. I'm in, I'm, I'm live on camera right now. I, okay, you call me. I, I call you. Why, why you have to take it to the high voice? Because you call me and then you wondering why I'm calling back while you shooting when uh, you call me. All right, all right, all right, I'm gonna call you back. All right, bye. Bye. Ah, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna edit all of this stuff out. Anyway, so where was we? All right, so build quality, A1. Next, let's talk about biometrics. Now, if y'all watch if y'all watch my Pixel 6 Pro real review, there was a couple of things I didn't like. And one of them was the fingerprint sensor was garbage, and there was no face unlock. Now we got a fingerprint, you see what I mean by that power button? And part of, part of the reason that it, it, it affects me as much as it does is because I use multiple phones. Now, if you're only using this phone every day, then you're going to get used to having the power button on the top. But the, y'all see all of the phones I showed y'all all got the power button low. I switch phones all day, every day. It, it just takes me, it's going to take me a minute to get used to that. But anyway, biometrics. Now you got face unlock, which in the optimal conditions <laughs> works flawlessly. I'm back here. Now, let me see. Let's try that again. As soon as I say flawlessly, now Google want to troll me. You see? All right, there it is. Now I'm back here. Whoa, it just got mad blurry. Let me put these shits back on. I'm back here wearing my glasses, and it's still working with the glasses on. Let's try that again. Bong. Let's try this one. Bong. Okay, so you got face unlock that actually works when it, you know, when the, when the lighting is correct. And fingerprint sensor. Now, this is the most important upgrade, in my, in my opinion. The fingerprint, not really necessarily upgrade because with the 6 Pro after 37 updates, it does work. 37. After, after about 63 updates, it does work. It should have been like that out of the box. But this one is out of the box, a working fingerprint sensor. Okay, so the biometrics, I'm not really going to complain about that. I just wish the face unlock worked in lower light settings, but they do work. Next, uh, you do have an always on display. Okay, we already talked about that. Okay. It is pretty bright. The one highlight to the always on display is you do get the different icon for the weather. Now, let me show you something real quick. Let me show you something. Because a lot of people have been asking me about this, um, the wallpaper that I'm using. Here's what it's called. It's called Beautiful Widgets Live. All right, so you got to download Beautiful Widgets Pro. 
and then you set beautiful widgets live and then you're going to get this look at that you see you see that you're touching the sun when it's clouds you can touch them you got you see the grass actually moves and the best thing about this wallpaper is you see the sun is getting low right now because it's four o'clock. So the sun is getting lower. As the sun sets, it's gonna the outside is gonna change. So it's gonna the screen will change to you know sun when the sun set, it'll be like an orange tint. And then at nighttime, you see the stars in the sky. If it's raining, water drops on the screen. Y'all seen the unboxing video. If it's snowing, you're gonna get snow. This is even though the, the weather widget doesn't work as good as it used to but it's worth the price to download Beautiful Widgets Pro just for this wallpaper. So, okay, so anyway, where was I? Let me get back on track. Always on display, it does work, just not too customizable. Next, now here's one of the things that I love about the Pixel phones. And this is one of those things that's hard to explain unless you own an iPhone. Now, if you own an iPhone, one of the things that you're gonna notice about the iPhone is when you're typing. When you're typing on an iPhone, we're not talking about the, 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 the display in terms of the materials, uh, not the materials of the display, the feeling, the feeling of the display. Anybody who has an iPhone and an Android phone, you know that displays have different feelings. Same thing with Galaxy phones. Galaxy phones, what, I will say this, I don't like typing on Galaxy phones. It doesn't have a good feel to it. It doesn't have a good feel to the when you're typing on it. The Pixel. The Pixel, in my opinion, is basically Android's version of an iPhone. Okay, now, if, if somebody who doesn't know shit about Pixels and you wanted to really exp just give them a quick synapsis, I'm on a roll today. You wanna give them a quick breakdown? <laughs> you wanna give them a quick breakdown of what it's like owning a Pixel? Just be like, this is an Android version of an iPhone. It's super smooth, it's pretty basic, okay? Not an extreme learning curve. There's not a whole bunch of features and gimmicks that you gotta play with. It's like an iPhone, but the thing about it, all right, let me pull up a message real quick. Let me pull up something that I could, um, let's see, um, okay, bang, something like this. Let's exit out, let me exit out all of this stuff. Watch this. This is what I'm talking about in terms of the display. When you're typing, the feeling, like, it's hard to explain. Anybody who owns a Pixel, come in the comments right now and back me up. That feeling, that touch, it's an exact touch, a precise exact touch. And it almost feels like it, it almost feels like there's a little bit of air under the screen. Like you feel like a little bloop, bloop. Not a the vibration. I right, now so part of that is a heptic, but it's not a, a strong a, a, bu a buzz vibration. It feels like you're bursting a bubble. That's the I think that's the best way to describe it. Imagine an air bubble that you just popped. Every time you touch the display, I mean, it just feels so good typing on this. And I'm not even exaggerating. That's part of the reason why this has always been my work phone. Because a lot of times I use the speech to text, but then I also do have to type. And when you're typing, it's just such a pleasure. It's a real pleasure typing on this keyboard. This and the iPhone are my two favorite phones that I text on. Now, see, I'm getting into a text argument and I got I got to shoot a good three paragraph email or a three a three paragraph text, you know, the fuck you two text. I'm using a Pixel or I'm using an iPhone. I just love it. The Galaxy, it just has a different feeling. The vibration is just different. Anyway, you're gonna love the display on this, the feel of the display. That's one of the things that I love. Next. Let's talk about the speakers. All right, let me, let's talk about the speakers real quick. Let's pull up the, uh, the official, now I'm doing this in real time. All right, this this is gonna be a Snyder Cut. <laughs> I'm in the middle of watching this trial. We'll talk about that when I do the RDA test. All right, so we got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rubier. Now I will say this, the speakers sound pretty good, but here's the thing. After using the Asus ROG 6 Pro or the Black Shark from Xiaomi or the Red Magic, any gaming phone, okay, when you use a gaming phone, regular cell phone speakers are gonna sound a little bit tiny. So I'm trying not to be biased right, because I've been used to using the Asus for my content viewing. <laughs> but the speakers on this sound pretty good. Listen for yourself. Yo, sound test, proper sound test. Nice volume. Everybody shut your mouth, proper sound test. A lot of clarity. Does it sound loud? 
Now, you can tell the bottom speaker is obviously louder. Here's the top. Listen. Okay, here's both. The highs and the mids are crystal clear though. It could use a little bit more bass. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rubier. Like I said, it could use a little bit more bass, but not enough that I would even complain about it at all. The speakers are pretty dope. All right, so now let's talk about the actual display. Now this is LTPO AMOLED status, okay, 120 hertz refresh rate, 1500 nits brightness, that's a lot of nittage. Not as much nittage as the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which I'm getting spoiled by using 2000 nits brightness out in the daytime. This is the brightest phone that I got, it's ridiculous. But 1500 nits brightness, that's nothing to frown on, okay, this is a super bright, super beautiful display. Look at this. Basically bezel-less, just a punch hole camera. Now you're gonna get way more bezels on the seven. Look at this. Beautiful. I actually like this better than a dynamic island, I, a big island in the middle of your video. Punch hole camera. All right, under the display cameras, that's coming up next. But as of right now, this just look at the viewing angles. Excellent. See, that's how you check the viewing angles. All right, so if the phone is like this, it still looks clear. No, dis no display issues at all. This is A1. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's talk about the processor. You got the Tensor G2 chipset. Now, what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro. You don't need to know what it means. This is a flagship processor. It is super smooth, fast, and reliable. Watch this. Go to apple.com. Okay, look how fast that is. Bong. 120 hertz refresh rate. Now, this is the full website. Let's see how many apps we got. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's what I mean. That's, all right. Shout out, shout out to, shout out to um, Google for saving my <laughs> Instagram search. All right. Let's, let's see. Let's do a little split screen. <laughs> all right. So we do split screen multitasking. Okay. Beautiful. And they got YouTube on the bottom, Apple on the top. To resize it, exit out of that. Okay. Picture in picture. And again, all the apps open at the same time. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is a family now. Hold oh, on. All right. All right, so I can be on Instagram and YouTube at the same time. Exit out of that. So, <laughs> no issues at all with the processor. We don't even have to keep talking about this stuff when I do these full reviews. Like, we don't have to do speed tests and Geekbench and all of that stuff. Bro, that's just, this is why I do the RDA test, because you wanna see how the processor works in the real world. This is lag free, okay? You can do all your multitasking, have 100 apps open at the same time. All right, this is the, the actual trial that I'm watching right now. All right, I'm gonna go upstairs and watch this shit later. But no issues at all. Now, as for, shoes, as, shoes put me on blast. As far as the, <laughs> the software, all right, this is basically stock Android. Okay, this is the stockest version of stock Android you're gonna get. Okay, you got all your Android 13 widgets. Okay, the movable clock. I love that one. You see, I got my battery percentage. One of my favorite widgets. Let's see, um, let's play some music. Let's see, um, you know, I've been getting on some um, Adele shit lately. All right, now boom, you got the turntable. Okay, you got Netflix. Shoes wanna be my friend now. You got Netflix, you got the weather. Okay, you got the notes, you got calendars. When you swipe up, look how smooth this is. All right, so no issues at all with the processor and the um, OS skin.
silky smooth. Actually, the smoothest Android phone that you're gonna use. All right, so now let's do a little bit of gaming. Of course, I got Asphalt 9 queued up. Let's get into it. Beautiful display, the speakers are nice and loud. This is a perfect phone for gaming, no issues. Okay. Oh, all right, 360 right out the gate. Okay, tap and hold the drift. Let me build up some. Oh, shout out to Huba D. <laughs> shout out to Huba D. If I, if I lose D, it's your fault. Yeah. Now, hold up. Oh, I wrapped him. I wrapped him. Okay. Now, this is. A... Woo! I'm out here doing, I'm doing work today. Oh, somebody else just dropped in. Oh, I'm losing. I'm losing. I'm losing. I might lose. Okay, hold on. I, I had to get back in first place. Let's get crazy. Why not? Bang, there it is. Okay. Let me go ahead and pause this. You see, I did it again. I, I can hate that power button. I hate it. Anyway, gaming on your Pixel 7 Pro, no issues at all. Now let's talk about one of the best features of this phone, the camera. Now I'm gonna start off by talking about the zoom. Now I went outside and did my scumbag zoom test and here's how it looks. Now just in case you don't know what the scumbag zoom test is, let me show you what that is. All right, this is the scumbag zoom test. I stand all the way down the block right here, okay? And then I go to maximum zoom and try to read this sign. So we do a little pinch and there it is. That's 30 times zoom, and look how beautiful that looks. Now I did the same thing with the iPhone 14 Pro Max. You see when you pinch it in, you see you lose some of the resolution and some of the details. Look at the pixel. Look at that, this is perfect. So this is a work in zoom. Now of course, the Xiaomi and the Galactus, 100 times and 120 times zoom, you could go even more. But look at this. This is excellent scumbag zoom. Perfect, perfect. Not to mention the point and shoot shots. I mean, are you kidding me? I'm gonna post some of these uh, pictures real quick, but let me just go through some of the different shooting modes for you. Okay, so you got night shots. Now, when you're using your night shots, you're gonna notice that the exposure time is a lot faster than your 6 Pro. Remember, you're outside and you're trying to take a picture and you gotta wait for this thing to look mm, five seconds, you know, to get the shot. And maybe it went from five seconds to 2.5 seconds. That's a big deal. You're trying to take a picture of somebody at night, you gotta be like, hold on, don't move, don't move. Okay, hold on, don't move. Okay, you good. Ain't nobody got time for that. Nobody got time for that. And that's part of my argument about not having Pro mode. Okay, you outside having dinner. Ain't nobody really, okay, hold on a second. Let me change the shutter speed. Right, hold on a second. Hold, d d don't move, don't move. Stand right there. Playing with all the pro mode settings. You want point and shoot. And for point and shoot, this is the best point and shoot camera on the market. Period. Okay, now, I'm, I'm not the biggest, you know, I'm not a big Google cheerleader, but I will bring out my pom-poms and jump on the bandwagon and um, defend them on that argument. This camera is superior. It is amazing. You got motion shots, so you can do long exposure, or you can do your action pans. Portrait modes come out immaculate, immaculate. You got wide angle, like I said, all the way up to 30 times zoom. Video, 4K, 60 frames per second. Cinematic mode, which looks kind of dope. And of course, you got panoramic photosphere and lens. Now, I'm not gonna upload a cinematic mode shot, but I will show you what it looks like. I did take one. Let me um pull it up real quick. I did a little cinematic video. <laughs> now, some of these photos I'm gonna actually post, but you know, I was doing my little uh, fine dining experience. Hold up, let me, let me pull this up. Okay, now this is a video that I shot with cinematic blur on, okay? So let's get him play this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn down the volume because I'm pretty much talking a bunch of shit. Doing my little fine dining experience, but look at the background. You see the people in the background are a little bit blurred out, okay? Kind of looks like a portrait mode photo, but in video. Nice and smooth. Now I will say, as much as I hate to say it, the iPhone's cinematic mode is a little bit better, but this one does work. Okay, you see how the background just blurred out? 
I'll let y'all watch it one more time. You see how, oh, look at, I'm getting hungry right now. You see that steak? And then I did this on purpose. I tried to zoom in. You see, that's my little sister right there. So um, my, my older sister, actually, <laughs> literal than me, though. All right, that's my sister. So you see the background blurry. You know, so we just talking shit, having dinner, you know. Anyway, so that's how cinematic mode looks. Now, again, as usual, when it comes to pictures and videos, I don't want to talk about it. I like to be about it. So take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself, and you be the judge. Now, normally I wouldn't say nothing, but trust me, you're going to like these photos, and you're going to like these night shots. Watch this. about some of the specific Google features that makes this phone <laughs> so awesome, such as text-to-speech. Now, that is my favorite one. Out of all of the Google features, 
The ones that I use the most are the automatic spam blocking for your phone calls. I use that. I also use, um, when you're talking on the phone, it automatically filters the noise in the background. Okay, so that's a nice little in-call feature. I like that too. But the ones that I'm gonna show you, Magic Eraser, I love that. Text-to-speech. As far as Google Translate, I think everybody knows how that works, but you can translate a live conversation. Now, I haven't really had the opportunity to have a conversation with somebody in a different language to really test that, but there's a bunch of videos from Google that shows you how it works. I mean, everybody knows Google has the best translate anyway, so just assume that that works. That's a dope feature. But the ones that I use, all right, I use text-to-speech. That's this one right here. This is my. This is why this is my work phone and my YouTube comment phone, because I do stuff like this. Watch this. Yo, uh, call me back, you black bastard. Send. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, watch, I'll do another one. I, this time I'll try to talk regular. Yo, what's up? What happened to y'all? I was waiting all night. Nobody ever called me back. Um, y'all a bunch of corny motherfuckers. Nevertheless, I digress. I'll call you tomorrow. Send. Okay. Now, let's see. Yo, what's up? What happened to y'all? I was waiting all night. Nobody called me back. Y'all a bunch of corny motherfuckers. Nevertheless, I digress. I'll call you tomorrow. And just being able to say the word send and send the message, that is so dope. Okay, I use that all the time. You see the way I'm talking right now? Like, I'm doing a video, but usually when well, I'm talking a little bit more professional when I'm sending my work emails, but I can send my, uh, I can talk two whole paragraphs and just press send and just say send without having to touch. Same thing if I'm in the car and I got it on the mount, boom. Yo, I'm on the highway, call me back later. Send. Bang. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm using a, a non-working number because I don't want to blow nobody up. So the text-to-speech, that is one of the most fun features. And like I said earlier, uh, earlier in my last video, Nine times out of 10, when I reply to YouTube comments, this is how I'm replying. So if I tell you to eat a dick, I actually said that to you. <laughs> so you can, you can take comfort in knowing, like, oh, if I say, yo, thank you, I really appreciate it, I really said that to you. <laughs> okay, so I'm really talking to y'all. Anyway, so text-to-speech, that's a dope feature. Now, here's another one that I use, Magic Eraser. All right, so let's take a quick photo. Okay, now say I took a photo like this. Bong, right now, say that was, um, say I was taking a picture of something real quick, and maybe that was some contraband, okay? That was some contraband that, oh, I didn't, I didn't mean to take that. Let's go to tools. We go to magic eraser. Okay, now I can find suggestions for you, or you could just do it manually. Just like this. And then watch this. Bong, <laughs> disappears. I love that. Now, why, why, I, I got to calm down with the hot voice. You know, right? Now, before Sam, I, um, Samsung Knights, calm down. I right, stand down and stand by. I know Sam, Samsung Knights is typing right now. Oh, we got that too. I know. I know. I, this, this is not a Google exclusive feature. Okay. Samsung Knights, you could do the same thing on your Galaxy phones too. Okay. You could do that on a lot of other phones too. You could do it on Vivo phones. This is not a Google exclusive feature. I'm just showing you how it works on the pixel. So all of y'all Samsung Knights, start deleting that comment. Don't even bother sending it. I know. Okay. I'm not saying that you can only do this on Google phones. I know. Shout out to the YouTube correction officers. One more thing. I know. Um, I'll be, you know, I'll be doing a lot. My videos are live, so I don't use a script. So two corrections that I got, that I got up own up to one when i said um the volume button i said even samsung when i said the volume button the power button is too high when i said even samsung i didn't mean that the samsung had it on the other side i meant even samsung has it lower than the volume button but you know with the youtube correction officers you know you, you, you can't make one mistake because motherfuckers be coming at you you can't say nothing wrong and when i said um with the code <laughs> i was thinking of iphone in my mind I'm, of course, you, all Android phones you could change to the swipe. I was thinking of Apple phones. Apple phones only allow you to have a pin. Uh, you can't. Apple phones, you got to put a pin in. I have to face. There's no swipe. That's what I meant to say. All right? So YouTube correction officers, take a day off. I right? take a goddamn day off. But anyway, Magic Eraser. This is a dope feature.
Another feature that you're going to like is when you call, say you call up T-Mobile or Verizon and you got to sit on the phone. Oh, if you want to do this, press one. If you want to do that, press two. You can have the full menu. All right, so that's a nice little feature also. And the same thing when you could block out all the spam calls, automatically detect spam, block them. Okay, these are dope features. The Google Translate, again, dope features. Next, let's talk about battery life. Now, I don't like spending too much time about battery life unless the phone's battery is trash, in my opinion, because everybody knows battery life is subjective. What I get on my battery life is gonna be different from yours, because if you notice, all of my phones always stay on max brightness. I get a thousand notifications, okay, I'm, you know? So my phone usage might be different than yours. I'm a social media savage. Okay, I got accounts on every social media platform. So I get I get a lot of notifications. My, my battery is gonna drain faster than the average person. But here's my, uh, uh, my um, <laughs> here's my usage. Here, let me, let me talk about my usage with this phone. It's excellent. All right, it's not, it's definitely not iPhone status. It's definitely not Asus ROG 6 status, but you can easily. Now, if I'm able to get a full eight hours on max brightness, getting 2000 notifications a day, then you're not gonna have a problem if you're not heavy on social media and you're not using the phone, just OD, you know, screen time on all day long. It's easy to survive eight hours. But here's the thing that you gotta be mindful of. Make sure when you go to settings, all right, let's do it in real time. You go to settings, go to battery, okay? Go to da, 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 adaptive preferences, okay? Now you got adaptive charging. If you are planning on keeping this phone for more than a year or two years, put on an adaptive charging. That'll save you some battery life in the long run. But adaptive battery. Make sure you put on adaptive battery when you get your Pixel 7 or your 7 Pro, put on adaptive battery and use the phone. Don't keep checking the battery the first couple of days. It might seem like the battery's trash because what this is doing is learning your usage. So you, when you get the phone, use the phone the way you would use it, use it hard. And if you wanna get the best out of adaptive battery, put it on max brightness, okay? Or, or I'm just, if you if you like having max brightness, if not, don't, don't do it just because I say it. But this is my, here's my, um, <laughs> this is my, I, I, the word is slipping my mind, but after trial and error, all right, let's, let's put it like that. After trial and error, I set up both of these differently. This one I didn't set up with max brightness, and this one I set up with max brightness. This one I didn't have it, you know, connected to my, all my accounts and all of that. This one I did. And I noticed that the battery was draining fast on this one because this one is actually being used. But after about a good, I want to say five days, all right, about five days straight, now I'm noticing my standby time. Let's see, on this one, this is at 95%. Okay, now I took this off the charger maybe four hours ago. Okay, four hours ago. This one is on 69%, but this is the one I've been using for this whole video. You can easily get a full eight hours battery out of this phone. Now, if you want to get more, all you got to do is go to Battery Saver. Okay, now you can set a schedule. Okay, you can turn it off and charge. You got Extreme Battery Saver. Okay, so you're not gonna have an issue with battery. No need to even talk about it too much longer. Battery life on this phone is just fine. The only time I really get into battery life, if I have a phone that's trash. This is not trash. Okay, so the battery life, no issues at all. All right, so now let's do the RDA test. Regular daily activities. Now you just spent 900 bucks on the phone. Let's see how it works in the real world. Now the phone does have wireless charge, so you might as well buy a wireless charging stand. This is the Google stand. Okay, it works perfectly. But as you can see, from in the bed, you could just look over, you see the time. Once you get to know this phone, you see that yellow dot, you know that means it's sunny outside. You got the date, and you got your notifications, and you got your battery percentage. All right, so on the bottom, See, 69% charged. All of the pertinent information without touching the screen. Now, when you wake up, the first thing I like to do is don't touch anything, just look at the phone. Bang, face unlock. That's a nice upgrade. Now, let's go to the Google feed. All right, matter of fact, before we do that, let's check the weather. See what kind of day we in for. Now, we already seen on the always on display that little yellow dot, so we know it's sunny, okay? Looks like Friday and Saturday, nice and sunny. Exit out of that. 
Now, let's check the Google feed. Okay, so we got the Dow Brooks trial. This is one grade A scumbag, but this is one of the most entertaining trials I've been watching in a minute. And I don't mean entertaining as far as, you know, the substance of the trial. Entertaining watching him just completely <laughs> destroy his case. I mean, it's, it's fascinating. But anyway, so let's see. We got a... Uh, Sports World reacts to Alex Morgan's outfit. Okay, let's see what, what Alex Morgan's outfit. What, did she, what was she doing? First of all, I don't know who Alex Morgan is, but let's see. Okay, and do we get to see anything? I mean, they just trolling me. Okay, they just. All right, that was a good troll one. Okay. Uh, House of Dragon. I, I've been watching that. Died the King. <laughs> let's see. Superman, Michael B. Jordan. Uh, okay, Michael B. Jordan. I'm a man, Roddy Coleman, the original OG, Mr. Olympian. Let's see, top 10 airbuns to consider as alternates if you're still not convinced, okay. Okay, now, a lot of people have been asking me to review this phone, the Asus ROG6, the Batman edition. I would like to, but I just can't see myself buying another ROG phone right after I just dropped almost $2,000 for the 6 Pro and to buy the same phone twice and it doesn't even have the best camera. Not really, not really. It does look sick, though. All right, seven songs you didn't know Michael Jackson wrote for other artists? Not interested. <laughs> Not interested. All right, look at these Crocs. They kind of look like Yeezys. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anyway, so that's the Google feed. But if you see for yourself, no lag, silky smooth. That's the theme with this Android phone right here. All right, this Pixel 7 Pro and, and the 7. All right, that's the theme, silky smooth. Okay, now if you want to multitask, Bunch of apps open at the same time, or you can hit clear all. And you see the animations. That's another thing I love. You see when you turn off, you see how everything faded to the side? I get faded toward the power button. I love these animations. Okay, fingerprint sensor actually works. Now, let's do a little work. Okay, so now this is, this is how I do my work right here. No thanks, I'm good. Send. Okay, that's how I do my, that's a, 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 shout out to Alan. That's how I do my work emails. You see how fast that was? That's how I do my work emails. This is, the, this is why this is my work phone. I'm gonna need to think about that. I'll get back to you next week. Send. And that's how I do all my work emails. So pff, I love it. That's why this is Big Bertha. This is my work phone. All right, so that's my work segment of the day. Next, let's do a little social media. Uh, operations let's go to twitter okay let's check the mentions let's see if there's any uh scumbaggery going on let's get a fresh refresh okay um i need to upgrade soundcore liberty pro threes the, okay now i actually did get the liberty pro fours let me go like that not the pro fours i got the liberty fours I, I got them actually maybe a week or two ago i just haven't done any headphone videos in a while but we're gonna get into that this weekend let's see have you tried this unit what unit is that Let's see what unit is this. Now, I don't want to put nobody else's video on blast. Let's see. Um, spectacular views anywhere. Pre-order Capsule 3 Laser. All right, Capsule 3 Laser. Let me go ahead and like that so I can come back to that. Okay, you see? Now, look. You see? Now, this is where multitasking comes into play. I could actually watch that video that he's asking me to watch. Let's turn the volume down. All right, so the Capsule 3. Now, I could go back and talk to him. Watch this. Okay. Checking it out now. Checking, um, now I could have just, did, <laughs> I could have did the voice, but bong. You see now, I could be going through my Twitter while I'm on YouTube. Okay? So anyway, let's see. White shoes calm down. Position coach the hand check. Let's see. <laughs> okay, Robert Griffin. I don't know about that. Let's see. Um, anything else going on on Twitter? Let's see. After a few days with the Google Pixel 7 Pro, I decided to go with the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra 5G Alpha Omega Supreme. This is a beast. Flossy Carter can never go wrong with your advice. Now, this is a smart man. If I had to choose between this and Galactus, Galactus. Now, let's try this. Smart move. Send. Yeah, okay. See, I, I don't really be I don't really be tweeting that much, so the send feature doesn't work on Twitter. Okay, but I know for sure it works on text messaging, it works on YouTube, and it works on uh it works on Creative Studio, and it works on emails. Okay, let's see. No longer fucking idiot. Return to Blue Plus for the Pro Max. Remember, 
if you buy the iPhone 14 Plus, you're a fucking idiot. I'm sorry. No disrespect. So somebody said he's no longer a fucking idiot. <laughs> All right, so I, gotta, I might have to. Somebody got the scumbag Zoom. Let's see. What's going on? See, somebody got. This is why you need the scumbag Zoom on your phone. You got some activity going on across the street? You could whip out your phone that has 30 times Zoom and you could get the full action. See, reason why you need a Galaxy S22. Bang. Anyway, so that's how your Twitter's going to look. Let's get an exit out of everything. Bang. You see that animation too? I just love how smooth and subtle everything is. That's why the Xiaomi phones feel faster because the animations are right in your mouth. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> but but the, the pixel, you don't want it to be, everything don't have to be zippy. All right? Everything don't have to be, bang, bang, bang. you know, you, you open an app and you exit out. You want to have a nice little soft transition. It feels like you're getting a nice little rubber dub. All right? Let's go to TikTok. All right, um... Don't allow. All right. Let's see what's going down on the TikToks. Okay. 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 My husband is dating some chick from his gym. So I invited her to dinner. So I could be super hateful and jealous. <laughs> or I could remember. I'm still his boy. Tip. Uh, okay. So there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Now, this is one of my favorite channels. All right. This is Men with the Pot. This is a fat, this is, if you're a fat ass, you're going to like this channel. Like, he'd be outside in nature. he always be cooking something that look extra fat and delicious. I love it. Okay, let's see. Leaked iPhone 14 fold. Yeah, now nah, you wish. Now, don't get me wrong. If, the, if this was real, if this was real, if this was real, it would be a serious problem. If this was real. <laughs> Apple, man, I don't know what y'all doing over there in the Apple camp. Okay, little sister who looks older. Okay. How I found about heated jackets. Okay. Cardi B. Okay. Anyway, so here's TikTok. <laughs> Another iPhone trick you didn't know about. Let's see. Let's see. What kind of because a lot of these videos be a straight cap. Go to settings. Go to camera. Okay. Pro Raw. Okay. 48 megapixels. Okay. Okay. Now what? Okay, so we didn't know how to turn, turn we didn't know how to turn on 48 megapixels. Come on, bro. Okay, that's a nice little shirt right there, a little sheepskin shirt. Okay. More fatness. Okay, what was that? Okay. Fancy LEDs. Okay, now this is the kind of stuff I like RGB lights. Anyway, so this is the um, oh, imagine this. Imagine this on an iPhone touchscreen on the back. You see? And when I did my iPhone video, remember I said innovation that's what these phones are missing innovation that's innovation okay not cinematic mode on the camera that's not innovation this is innovation let's exit out of that okay so let's do um let's see anything going on on facebook okay let's see wishing a blessed 18th birthday and i like anybody having a birthday okay now this coat right here y'all gonna see me with something similar to this in the winter that blue one was fire though I don't know about all this reflect that blue one right there. Now I got a red one like that, but I need some more colors. Ooh, that's what I'm saying. I like them big joints like that. Okay, that's pretty sick. Okay, let's see. Um, love of my life, best thing that happened to me. Oh, okay. Shout out, shout out to Sharon. She, she went. She, she got a whole. She got a whole to do. She went and got a whole school. Number. Okay, she got a whole school. Uh, that, maybe that's her father. Let me see. Let's see. Um, <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a, that's a pops. They got the same last name. <laughs> Oh, then again, maybe not. I don't know. He look a little bit older, though. I don't know. Let's, 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 let's get into the comments. You both not. Nah, okay, you both look great. Okay, happy anniversary. Okay. Shout out to Sharon. Let me, let me go ahead and love that. This is my home group from back in the days. Okay. Sometimes you got to settle down, though. You can't be out here living a scumbag life ever. Okay. <laughs> okay. My man, Courtney. Okay. This is how I know I'm getting old when all of my friends got gray beards. That's that's how I know I'm getting old, bro. Matter of fact, I'm wearing glasses right now. What the fuck is wrong with me? All right, so anyway, so let's exit out of that. All right, shout out to homegirl Tiffany. Okay. She used to be a bartender at this bar I used to go to. Bless me with the free drinks. You know what I mean? Okay, anyway, exit out of that. So now let's do one more. And, and before we do this, <laughs> we, before we go to Instagram, I got to get something ready. Because <laughs> y'all know, when we, when we go to Instagram... You know, this is a family show. All right, now, if you like that this is a family show, this is all you got to do. Go to your Google search bar. 
right? Just do it like this. Go to FlossyCarter.net, right? So you go to FlossyCarter.net, continue to the site. Oh, no, they, they, they spelled it wrong. They said, come on, come on, Google, don't do me like that. All right, we got to go to Flossy. <laughs> they put it with an I. All right, FlossyCarter.net. Okay. All right, this is a, it's a secure site. Don't worry about it. So you're going to go here. You're going to click for the merch. I know, man. I don't I don't be dropping no ads in my videos. Give me. Let, let me get an ad for myself at least. All right, give me, let me get an ad for myself. We got a bunch of merch. But if look, only $22.99. This is a, that's a good price. $22.99 for the This Is A Family Show merch. All right, just in case you like the and shoe, uh, shoes came and sat right on my shirt. All right, so let's take it over to Instagram. Okay. Oh, this is a family show. Shoes, I need, I need uh, shoes. I need, I, I need the shirt. Shoes, I'm sorry. No disrespect. Shoes. I, uh, you see, I'm gonna just go like that. I'm gonna just point to it. All right, so let's see what's going down on Instagram. Now look, you see, look, this, this is the shit I'm talking about. You see, Mano. I right, shout out to now Mano's one of my guys, but shout out to Mano. Shout out to Jim Jones. I right, shout out to a lot of people trying to come out with the Avrex leather jackets. And then acting like, oh, they started the Averix leather jacket wave. That's why, let me go to my Instagram real quick. That's why yesterday night, I had to post this shit, all right? I had to post this shit. Now, this is a little montage of me from the last couple of years. You see all them Averix leather jackets, you know? I'm a hardcore Averix leather jacket wearer, all right? So shout out to Mano and everybody acting like they started this shit. He up in Daniel's leather. Popping, you know, talk. I don't give me talk your shit, man. No, don't get me wrong, talk your shit, but don't be acting like you started this shit in New York City. All right, I just had to, I, you know, I just had to, you see, pro, even Professor Averick said, Yo, what you think about this? All right, you know what I'm saying? Now, Professor Averick, on another side note, this is one of my guys, he specializes. All right, if y'all, if anybody looking to get. And a vintage Averix, not the new shit that all these corny rappers, not Mayno, but a lot of these corny rappers are wearing nowadays. If you want to get a vintage, all right, the ones like you see me wearing, the ones you see me wearing, you can't buy them in the store. You got to see somebody like Professor Averix, and you got to get that mate. You got to get that from somebody who had it from the time. Yo, that mine's is real. Anyway, let's see what else is going now. Okay, Foreign Mob. Now, this is one of my car clubs. Remember, the whole purpose of this, this is just RDA. This is, a, this is what you're going to be doing. All right, let's see. Let's, see. let's see if doing too much was a person. <laughs> what kind of workouts? <laughs> bro. Yo, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> Yo, if doing too much was a person, yeah. I'll, uh, all right. Now, this is my man, Curtis. All right, my man, Curtis Ray Fitness. One of my bowling partners. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Anyway, okay, let's see now. What's going on here? What's going on here? Is my, my dude leaking? I don't even. I don't even want to know. I don't want to know. Now this is what I like to see. Why I, shoes? Why you don't do shit like this? You know why you gotta be doing the most? Why you? Why you can't do stuff like this? You know. You know, you see, you see. You, you, I bring out the family show shirt. Now shoes think it's a bed. You know? Now you gotta come and chill like it's a bed. You. Know? I need you to do stuff like that, yo. Shout out to my man, Cuban Nose Jewelry. All right, 50 Cent. Now, 50 Cent, I can't get involved with this whole 50 Cent beef because me and Shanique was cool. That's his baby moms. Me and her's cool, so I can't really get into the whole 50 Cent beef. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's see. Anyway, so this... Okay, let just make sure. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I thought it was something else. Right, anyway... Uh, Anyway, so here's how your Instagram is gonna look. <laughs> I'll give y'all one more. Now th this girl right, she be doing the makeup. The, this is why you gotta watch out with chicks, man, because yo the makeup, you, you told two totally different people, yo. Like if, if the girls know how to do makeup, they can really trick you. <laughs> All right, Gilly out here. Let's see. Okay, I'll, this is this don't this don't look too bad. It's a nice little T-shirt. Oh, anyway, so anyway, so this is this is how your RDA regular daily activities, again, the smoothest, cleanest, most responsive version of Android that you're gonna get. You're gonna love this phone. All right, shoes. Okay, now shoes. Let me shoes. Ah, here you 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 shoes. You could you you could use the bed over there. All right. Ah. Anyway, so anyway, let's go ahead and wrap this up. 
anything else we need to talk about? Let's talk about uh, accessories. Okay, now, one of the things that people love about iPhones and Galaxy phones is you got cases from everybody. The Pixel is not as many cases from everybody, but you do got Ghost Tech. I'm going to do tomorrow. You do got Spec. Okay, you got Spigen. So you do have a lot of accessory choices, way more accessory choices than you're going to find on Xiaomi and Asus and Realme and Redmi. All of those phones, you're going to be stuck with little corny gel skin cases. With the Pixel, you do have a plethora of accessories to choose from. So tomorrow, I'll show y'all some Ghost Tech cases. Ghost Tech... Yo, Ghost Tech makes one of my favorite cases. I'll show you tomorrow. I don't, I don't really like, like trying to overhype it when I'm doing a video, but one of those cases that they make, I forgot the exact name of it now that I'm sitting here live. Let me see. I don't even have it down here with me, but um, <laughs> is it the Slim? Some Slim something, but I'll show, I'll show it to you because I got the Pixel version, so we'll do that tomorrow. So you got a bunch of accessories to choose from. Lastly, all right, before we wrap this up, the last thing I want to talk about is the floss factor. Now, if you don't know what the floss factor is, let's get this out of the way. All right, shoes. All right, yeah, let me get my shoes messing up my props. Let's get this out of the way. The floss factor. You go to a fancy restaurant. You go to a bar, sports bar. You go to your homeboy's house to play cards. Okay? You're in the airport, in the airport lounge. You anywhere. You anywhere with some other nerds, <laughs> some of your other friends. You pull out your Google Pixel 7 Pro, right? Somebody has... A Xiaomi 12S Pro. Somebody got Galactus. Okay. Somebody's a real nerd and they pop up with the Asus ROG 6. You'll probably never see one of these in real life. <laughs> but uh, unless maybe you bump into some real nerds. Okay. Somebody got one of those. Let's see. Somebody got a OnePlus 10 Pro. Somebody got the Vivo IQ 9 Pro. All of these phones on the table. You got one of these corny ass motherfuckers with an iPhone. Let's, let's, let's put them in the mix too. Where do you... I'm, I'm trolling. Apple Mafia, I'm trolling. Where do you fit in on the food chain, okay? Are you on the top, the upper echelon of the food chain? Like a lion, like a tiger, like a grizzly bear? Or are you on the bottom of the food chain like a deer, a gazelle, a sheep? Okay, not an apple sheep, a real sheep. That's the bottom of the food chain, all right? Your lunch. Where do you, where do you fit in? Are you eating dinner or are you dinner? I would say this, the Pixel 7 Pro is not the flashiest phone, but you are definitely on top of the food chain. First of all, you're smart, okay? You spent less than everybody else, so that means you're smart. You know how to conserve your money. You know how to get bang for your buck. You're smart. So you're on top of the food chain when it comes to brains. Next, you got the latest version of Android. Now, besides the iPhone user, everybody else right here, when they're on Android 13, you'll be on Android 14. As right? soon as Android 14 hits the market, you'll have it first. Okay? When it comes to... Sorry, I can only call one right, person at a time. Right, calm down. Who would you like to call? I, I want you to calm down. I want you to calm down. Do that. When it who comes, would you like to call? Who is that? Yeah. I, just, of course, it got to be the corny-ass iPhone. <laughs> when it comes to the cameras, I, when it comes to the cameras, point-and-shoot status... It's between these two. I right, for point and shoot status. I would say you are still the best. You got the best point and shoot camera. You got arguably, because this is this is just an argument. You got arguably the smoothest feeling device, arguably. But basically, what I'm trying to say is you are on top of the food chain. Now you are not the goat. Okay, you're not the goat, but you're on the top of the food chain. Like you know, what I'm saying you don't. Nobody's eating you for lunch. You could walk freely <laughs> throughout the jungle. You're not lunch. Now, if you bump into Galactus, just show show the proper respect. Just you know, you might want to take a knee, and or you might want to give him the head nod. You know, give even if you don't like him, you got to go and give him the courtesy dap because this is the this is the boss. All right, this is the this is the grizzly bear. All right, this is the this is the grizzly bear, the lion, the tiger. This is a hyena. Okay, this is you know what I'm saying this you know this is this is a jaguar you know jaguars they they jaguars are apex predators you know but if a jaguar bumps into a grizzly bear help the jaguar I <laughs> don't help the bear help the jaguar anyway all jokes aside though if you got a Pixel Seven Pro this is an amazing phone the camera is amazing the software is amazing the display the speakers battery life the processor. 
other than a couple of nitpick gripes that I have with the face unlock and a few other things, lack of customization, this phone is totally worth the price, which is right, 900 bucks. Let me go ahead and rank this. On a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give the Pixel 7 Pro a major, major, major go, okay? Shout out to Google for listening to its community by bringing face unlock, bringing the macro camera, slowing down the nighttime exposure, coming out with a newer design. Because let's be, let's be honest, even though I do like this design a little bit better, nobody wants to buy the same exact phone twice. Even if they just change it up a little bit, at least it's gonna feel like a different phone. It's gonna look like a different phone. Nobody, buy, nobody likes buying the same looking phone over and over and over. iPhone 11, 12, 13, 14. These shits all look exactly the same. Nobody likes that. Nobody likes that. You want it if you just finish upgrading, at least now, okay, you've been looking at the black ball for a whole year. Look at something different. You might be like, okay, I like this one a little bit better, but hey, it's different. It's different. That's the high voice. It's different. Anyway, this is a triple major go. Number three on my top five Android phones. Uh, let me know in the comments if y'all want to see a full review on the seven. I don't think I don't think y'all need to see it. I mean, I think this video pretty much covered everything. It's just just everything I said about this one. Apply it to this and just water it down a little bit. As far as the Pixel Watch, I'm not even gonna waste y'all time doing a full review on this because I don't like it. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really like it. First of all, it's too small. Okay, now I don't, I don't keep using that word, but it's a little zesty. It's a little too small for me, and it's really just a basic Android watch. I mean, there's no, nothing flashy about it, no, I mean, it's, it's, it's like, it's one step above a Fitbit, okay, it's like a, it's like a better version of a Fitbit, I mean, for 350 bucks, hell no, go out and get yourself a Galaxy Watch, okay, if you get, you gotta spend a couple of extra bucks, get the Galaxy Watch, you're gonna like it better than this, this one is, it's pretty boring, it's just a basic Android watch, not even really worth the review, Okay, and anybody want to buy this little zesty shit, let me know, <laughs> and I'll sell it. But I'll, I'll probably just keep it because I do like the match. I have a black one, and I got a bunch of other phones for sale, but I'm keeping this 100%. All right, this, you're going to see this phone. If you notice, I even look closely. I even put this on my main, on my main account. You see? On the top. My shit is on, let's turn this, AT&T 5G. This is my main account. This is that, that's why this is my work phone. Okay, this is it right here. Now let's see, this shit is on, yeah, this is on T-Mobile. <laughs> this, this bullshit right here is on T-Mobile. Anyway, let me wrap this up. I know I'm going on and on. As usual, I gotta apologize for making these extra long videos, but I feel like for 900 bucks, I gotta let y'all know everything that I feel. Because believe it or not, there's a lot of people that be like, you know what, I'm not buying this phone until I see your review. A lot of times I'd be like, you know what, uh, even today, I don't feel like doing a video today. I want to Really, I wanted to go watch this court case. But then people leave the comments like, bro, I'm waiting on you before I decide to buy this phone or not. And I feel like I owe it to my subscribers, even if it's only a few of y'all. I don't care for how many subscribers I got. It's not about the quality and the quantity it's the quality okay let me say that correctly it's not about the quantity of subscribers that i have i like the quality of subscribers so even if i got a small number of subscribers that's like yo bro hurry up with the video hurry up with the video okay that means i gotta put it out i, I can't take off today and just be a fat ass and watch court tv all day i gotta put it out because people waiting on me to make a decision and if you're one of those people that was waiting to make a decision decision made buy this shit okay if you got a pixel four buy this you got a pixel 5 or 5a or 6a buy this you got the 6 pro you want the latest and greatest buy this you want to save some money don't <laughs> this phone is still good all right this phone is still dope this phone is not obsolete just yet anyway I'll do some cases and accessories uh, 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 for uh, tomorrow. <laughs> it's, it's, I'll do I'll do the cases tomorrow for this, the ghost tech cases. Then we'll do some, we'll do the uh, Soundcore earbuds. I got the Nora earbuds. And we got a bunch of other stuff. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. I know, I, it feels like, I feel like, <laughs> why can't, I know what y'all saying. Yo, shut the fuck up and end the video. Okay, I'm sorry. 
to hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Shout out to everybody following with me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and pitch and roll. Your boy Floss, I'm like, do something. Spock, run the beam up. Energize. I want everybody to subscribe to Flossy Carter for the real tech reviews. Now, Flossy Carter, we know you Flossy. Now, guess what? I'm flashy. Money may all day, the one and only. Flossy Carter, you part of the money team.